All right, so I have this printer here, Kyocera, and it's giving me the C3100 error. The problem has to do with the scanner. Something is wrong with the scanner area. This area, something is wrong. You see that this, the scanner is locked. The scanner head is locked, so it won't be able to move back and forth. Or the, the scanner head is stuck anywhere around the the rail normally when you once you put on your printer what is supposed to happen is that this scanner will move to this edge and then move back the other side but if it is stuck it is going to give you that error c that's 100 so i'm going to show you how to fix that problem so um depend depending on the model of the printer you you like your setup printer you're working with some of them might have there is a lock here that is located here just check if you mistakenly put the lock put um, the switch in the lock position if you do that the head will not be able to move back and forth the way you ought to and it will come up with that error on your screen since mine is not locked and it's giving me that error c that's 100 so i will assume that the head scanner head is locked somewhere so what i would do is to open it and manually uh, move the um, scanner head so that i will remove it from whatever has hooked the or uh, whatever is preventing the scanner head from moving back and forth freely the way it ought to so for um what i'm going to do is to gently remove this this scanner glass your own model might be a bit different but it's generally the same way what you just do is just to remove this scanner um, glass you don't even need to remove it completely what you just do is just to raise it up a bit enough to be able to get your hand inside and then free it from whatever is holding it from moving freely the way it ought to so i'm going to get my flat head screwdriver and take out this clip so you can see this clip here i will then detect it All right, so these are the, the clips here. There's one here also. After removing the clip, the next thing I'm going to do is to, there is a screw here somewhere. So I'm going to remove this so that I can get access to that screw. All right, so we have some screw here. There's a screw here and there's a screw here also. There's a screw here also. I'm going to get the screws out. Two screws is out. So I will be able to remove this front panel carefully. You have to be very careful while working on this area because of the screen. You don't want to build the screen. So there's a screw on this edge and there's a screw on this edge also which I am going to remove. So I'm going to remove this screw here, one here, one here. So after removing this screw, I'm going to gently pry this open with my hand or I'm going to make use of a screwdriver to be able to pry all of this open this way. Then this is going to carefully give out this way. 
so i can unplug this if i want to but i don't want to unplug it because i don't really need that right now so what i want to look at is there's this clip here there's a clip here which is holding this down there's a clip here and there is another clip here so i'll with my flat screwdriver flat screwdriver i will unclip this so this is going to come off there's another one here in the middle i'll carefully unclip. So I'll click to one, two, three. You can see that this is going to come off easily. This is going to come off easily. So what I want to watch out for is this head. So this head is not able to move back and forth because it is stuck. So I'm going to carefully, gently use my hand there and reposition it so you can see. So ensure that this is able to move fully so I'll take it back to rest. So now that that's rest and true, I'm going to clip this back. Okay, so this is done. Ensure that none of this clip has removed or is out of place. And I'm going to carefully put this part the way it ought to be. All right, so I'm going to. all right so another thing that can cause this error is over here if this is not moving it can be as a result of the connection from this scanner head to the main logic board and the main logic board is around this area so i am going to check the main logic board and clean the main logic board So I'm going to open this so that I can be able to remove this. I'm going to remove this. So the area where the clip is is towards this top area here. So I'm going to remove this also.
are going to locate the clip for we want to locate the clip that is going to the scanner so this clip is the one that is going coming so this clip is the clip that is coming from the scanner down to this so i'm going to clean this clip here so i remove this clip you can see here you can gently clean the tip of this clip here gently clean the tip of the clip or you get your flat screwdriver here and you gently scratch carefully and then you put it back now ensure that this ensure that this clip is plugged in properly this is plugged in properly this is also plugged in properly so i'm going to fix this back